Oh, good job. President, please be seated. Ong Julun Jumre Paka, Moto, Katam Dakan, the deputies, the court is back in session. The chamber now gives the floor to the defense teams for the accused to put questions to this witness. First, the floor is given to the, the defense team for Mr. Nunchia. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Um, Council, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few questions that I would like to put to you today. Um, first, um, I would revisit something that you said uh, before the lunch break. Um, and maybe it's uh, my understanding which is not correct, but you said something. Um, about sickness, you having been sick, and you also something about you having a problem with memory. Um, what exactly is your present condition, and what was your condition um, when you gave the interview to the investigators of the co-investigating judge some six years ago? President, Mr. Witness, can you give your response to the question put by the defense team? Witness, I uh, do not really get the question. President, uh, are you hearing me talking? Copper, please. Uh, uh, ask uh, the question again. Maître Keep Copper your question as simple as possible. Yes, I will do that, Maître Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, are you Monsieur having, as we speak uh, now, some form of sickness? No, me and Answer. No, Yes, uh, I sometimes uh, do not uh, feel well, and and uh, I uh, may not recall well. And and the sickness that you are having is that affecting? Do I understand that correctly? Your 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 memory. Si j'ai bien compris, elle affecte, elle touche votre mémoire. But answer yes. Réponse oui. Were you having the same condition some five or six years ago when you gave your statement to the investigators? Vous avez fait votre déclaration auprès des enquêteurs. Answer. At that time, Good. I may not have recalled everything because uh, of some my uh, memory and because of à my uh, thinking and analysis. But is this um, sickness potentially Question. affecting your, your capability of, of memory? Uh, what is it? What is your condition? Quel est le nom de cette maladie? I'm sorry, uh, counsel. I uh, cannot get your question. I do not really understand uh, your question. Um, did, did a doctor tell you what causes you to have memory problems? Cause de ces troubles de mémoire?
Witness, I uh, do not get the gist of your question. Témoin, I do not know how to respond. Question, je pas la you, you said you have problems with your memory. Do you know why you have problems with your memory? Did maybe a doctor tell you the reason for your memory problem? Answer: Réponse, No, the, non. Did, the doctor did not uh, say anything about that. Question. But can you tell us what kind of memory Pour problems do you have? How do these memory problems uh, manifest themselves with you? Ces problèmes de mémoire se manifestent-ils chez vous? Maria. Answer. I Réponse. had a few disease. The doctor told the maladies. doctor told me that I had a few disease. Le docteur m'a dit que j'avais plusieurs quelques maladies. Are you having difficulty to remember what happened? 40 years ago, during the democratic Kampuchea regime, or are you having trouble remembering something that happened recently? Answer. I uh, was not well a few months, two or three months ago. Il y a deux ou trois mois, je ne me sentais pas bien. Council, just sorry for the interruption. We're just checking. Uh, I seem to remember there's a report from Bezu, which details the, to a degree, the the uh, medical history. We're just looking for it, and as soon as it's there, so perhaps if you move on, and then we can get back to the question of sickness and. Um, yes, thank you, uh, Judge Vance. Um, let me ask you now a concrete question. Um, as to something that you said uh, before the lunch break, uh, one concrete example of um, differences between what you said today and what you said some years ago. Um, today you said that you only uh, heard a man being shot um, after he had been arrested. Five years ago, you said, quote, unquote, I saw they shot him with my own eyes. Can you explain the difference between the two? Why is it that you said now that you didn't see it? And back then you said you saw it. Answer. I heard. I said I heard because it happened close to my workplace. Do you remember when you gave your statement five years or six years ago uh, that this statement was read out to you? And that after it was read out to you, you uh, signed it with a thumbprint. Answer, yes. Uh, but I uh, may not recall everything in it.
Mr. President, I would like to show um, the witness the last page of um, his statement, which is a drawing. Um, and I would like to ask him whether this is his handwriting. President, uh, Mr. Choi Hoi, are you Monsieur able to read and write? Pouvez -vous lire et écrire? Answer, no. Réponse, no. <laughs> um, could I nevertheless show it to him whether um, he maybe recognizes something on this page? Well, it's 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 because it's not only um, at least in my English version, it's not only words; it's also uh, streets, uh, drawings, drawings. President, you can Président. show it to the witness. Vous pouvez faire remettre ce document au témoin. Mr. Witness, do you recognize this page? Is this something that you drew? Monsieur le témoin, reconnaissez-vous cette page? Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez dessiné? I have never seen it before. Je n'ai jamais vu cela auparavant. Um, very well. Mr. President, could I ask um, the transcript or the statement to be given back again? Monsieur le Président, puis-je demander à ce que l'on me remette le document? Um, The microphone isn't on. Maybe you want to repeat what you just said? Answer. I do not understand. Very well, Mr. Witness, I'll, I'll move on. Um, you testified earlier that um, you also your unit was also working um, at night time. Um, what do you mean when you said that your unit also worked at night time? Which hours? Answer. We We worked at the time because uh, there was a you know a minor plant at the time that required us to work at night, but it was not a frequent basis to work at night. Uh, we only uh, repaired the broken parts of the dam uh, when it was required us to do. Um, 
It is my understanding that there is no word in Khmer for um, evening, the period between um, the period after 6 p.m. What exactly do you mean with working occasionally at night? Would that be from 6 uh, p.m. until 9 p.m. or 10 p.m.? Answer. It started from uh, 7 to 9, and then uh, it will, it, we stopped. Um, there are witnesses who have testified that um, working um, at these hours was mainly possible when um, the moon would give enough light. Is that your memory as well? But answer. Yes. Uh, when the, the, the moon uh, gave enough life, uh, we were able to work at night during this, that season. You have been asked also questions this morning, uh, Mr. Witness, about something called night blindness. Uh, did you know at the time um, what caused uh, people to have night blindness? À l'époque, saviez-vous ce qui faisait que les gens n'y voyaient pas la nuit? Bad. Answer. Okay. Réponse. I heard and learned from chief of groups when they had a night blindness. It depended on a unit chief for whether uh, the workers would be assigned to go to work or not. But my question was uh, whether you at the time were told what the causes were for workers to have night blindness. Answer. No, I heard only that uh, people had uh, night blindness and that uh, they were not able to go to work. As a result, they were allowed to stay at their place. Um, in your statement to the investigators, um, at English page 0032120, French 00702923, and Khmer 00295946. You said that um, each unit was responsible uh, for finding their own meat, uh, and that therefore you assigned members in your group to fish. Is that what you uh, told the investigators? Answer. I do not recognize. What is it that you don't recognize? This, this excerpt that I just read to you? Answer. 
you mentioned about Samit, uh, an individual by the name Samit, and Samit I uh, uh, did not, uh, you know, catch it, you know, very well. That is why I don't understand. Uh, it's undoubtedly my fault in formulating my question. I will phrase it differently. Um, Mr. Witness, did your unit um, go out finding fish in the river or in the lake? But answer. They had to be responsible for their respective units in terms of uh, economy, that is, to find fish. Did your unit um, find, catch fish on a daily basis? Answer yes. And uh, we could solve uh, the problem of economy. Did the members of your unit eat fish with the rice every day? Answer. Réponse. We had a fish, uh, however, there were some days that we did not have. We did not have fish every day. And and sometimes a chief of the dam construction site would uh, intervene to, you know, give a dry fish and or uh, fermented fish paste. De la pâte de poisson fermenté ou du poisson and what about vegetables? Um, did you have vegetables on a daily basis uh, in addition to the rice? Outre le riz, des légumes tous les jours. Answer. Yes. Réponse, oui. uh, it uh, was, uh, you know, normal that some day we had and some other days we did not have. Normal, jours dans avoir, et and, and do you remember what, what kind of vegetables were you able in your unit to, uh, to eat? Du type de légumes que vous pouviez consommer dans votre unité? But mien bonle answer. There yes. were uh, morning glories uh, growing in the open field, so that we uh, we could uh, pick up uh, those uh, morning glories uh, to cook for food. Uh, there were plenty of uh, them in the field. Have you ever heard at the time um, whether à -vous jamais entendu there was a connection between eating fish y avait un lien entre du and vegetables et on the one hand and night blindness on the other hand? Des légumes et la cécité nocturne. But mean answer. Yes, I saw oui. some uh, nigh uh, blinded uh, people uh, uh, dropped into pits or bumped uh, some, you know, uh, pieces uh, in front of them. Buté sur des obstacles devant eux. Council, may I just take the opportunity so you can actually organize your questions?
questioning time. Um, it would appear that there is no visual report on this person, so please ask all the questions uh, about relevant questions about his medical condition you consider um, appropriate or important. Would, um, would it be help? I don't know, does the trial chairman know what he actually has or no idea? Because I'd be happy to just receive an email and then I know what's going on. There is no medical report before the trial chamber. I only received uh, the report about his health issue. Uh, and I was reported that uh, perhaps the testimony given by this witness today may not uh, be as good as uh, the one that given to the investigator in 2009. Wes uh, reported uh, to me uh, that uh, this witness, has, after this witness has recovered from uh, the illness, there is some you know issue with his uh, memory. He may forget uh, something uh, in his response. That is why uh, this morning I informed parties that the uh, question should be precise, short, so that uh, he is able to give a response to those questions and uh, to make our proceeding go smoothly. I already uh, informed the party once again up before the uh, lunch break. For this reason, I think that uh, there is no need to, you know, bring uh, the medical report of this witness before us to have a discussion. And uh, I, uh, as the president, does not announce that uh, the hearing of uh, the testimony of this witness should be deferred. I received a report from uh, Vesus that uh, after recovery from illness, this witness perhaps have, has some, you know, issue with his memory. He may forget some of uh, the events. I, I understand, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, but um, is it a memory affection in the sense of he forgot where he um, was this in the morning, or was, is, is, is it a short-term memory thing, or is it something else, and what sickness is causing it? Normally, I wouldn't be so interested in what the witness is suffering from. However, there seems to be quite some discrepancies, substantial discrepancies between his WRI and his present testimony. So I think uh, it uh, would benefit all parties, I presume, that we receive uh, a copy of whatever Wesu has uh, instructed or has reported to you, Mr. President, and maybe we can have a look at it uh, during the break and then maybe revisit it. President, now the Chamber instructs you to continue your line of questioning. Co-prosecutor and legal lawyers had do has has done their best uh, to conclude their line of questioning. Number two, I will ask uh, uh, the greffiers to contact Wessus about the uh, medical report or any other statement about the health issues of this witness and will give to you as soon as possible. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, now let me move on to another question um, in relation to health the health situation at the dam, you, let me rephrase, do you know anything about um, people working at the dam suffering from uh, cholera? Au barrage, personne qui aurait souffert de choléra. But me and answer, some had oui, cholera. Du cholera. 
uh, at uh, the accommodation and uh, usually if they uh, felt sick they could rest at their places and for people who were healthy went to work and how were you able to determine that they were suffering from cholera or how did, how did you know or did the medics maybe told you tell you at the time It depended on the medic who treated the sick, and there was a medic on standby. From your WRI, I also understand that if somebody wasn't um, or didn't recover um, while being sick at the dam, he was sent, uh, transferred, as you said, to the district hospital. Um, which hospital was that? Was that the Anlong Sar hospital? Answer. I I do not know about the hospital and I uh, do not know about this matter. Very well. Um, my, my, my last question, um, Mr. Witness. Um, do you recall whether members in your unit were able to sleep in mosquito nets? No, no, we did not. There was none at that uh, at that time. Il avait pas à Only in your unit, or did you observe this unité, with other units as well? Oh, no, uh, with unité. other units as well. Uh, last week, um, Mr. Witness, and this is my final question, we had a witness who testified and he said that he um, was sleeping at night in a mosquito net. Um, are you able to tell whether that, that man is in general an exception or whether that would have been depending on his unit or his cooperative where he was from? The President, Mr. Witness, please hold on. Madam Prosecutor, you may proceed. Prosecutor, um, Mr. President, I think it is very helpful if uh, the uh, Council is uh, referring to a particular uh, reference document or particular witness uh, that is referring to and the uh, corresponding uh, EON uh, for his uh, reference. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm happy to give the ERN. I don't have it right now in front of me. It was the witness of last week um, who said that he confirmed. Uh, it, if it's the witness I'm thinking of, the witness said that he brought, he was permitted to bring his own mosquito net and that it was not provided at the dam work site. So I'm happy for, for Mr. Kopi to ask that question, but I think that ought to be clear. Well, that, that's exactly the, the purpose of my question, whether if it's, if it's correct what this witness has been saying, that he had in fact a, a mosquito net, whether that would be something um, incidental um, or whether that would be possible in other units. Let me rephrase, um, Mr. President, Mr. Witness, do you know anything about mosquito nets uh, being present for members in other units? No, I did not see. I did not see any mosquito net. Je n'ai pas vu de moustiquaire. 
we only had uh, you know the mosquito net we brought along with us from our home uh, there were one two one or two uh, we brought uh, along with us from home One, one or two in your unit, or question. what exactly did you mean when you said there were one or two mosquito nets unité, that you saw? In my uh, unit, uh, our, uh, we brought a uh, mosquito net uh, with us uh, from our home. And as for other members, I did not know whether or not uh, they had the uh, mosquito net. So, so, so do, now, do I now understand correctly that Almost all or all members in your unit had mosquito nets to sleep in. Des gens de votre unité avaient un moustique. Oui. We uh, work uh, there for a few months. Uh, uh, we were given mosquito nets, but earlier on we were not given the mosquito nets. We did not have uh, mosquito nets for one or two years, and then uh, they, the upper echelon uh, provided the uh, mosquito net as well as some uh, clothes. Um, these were my questions, Mr. President. Uh, just uh, for completeness sake, I was referring to um, witness control E3-7803, English ERN 00277822, who said that he um, um, slept in a mosquito net. Thank you. The President, thank you, and you may proceed. Yes, you may proceed. The National uh, Council for Mr. Nunchir. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. My name is uh, Liz Vanna. I am the uh, National Lawyer for Mr. Nunchir. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I have a few questions uh, to put to you. Uh, for the uh, daytime work, uh, what time did you start work and what time did you finish it for the day? Response. We started at 6 o'clock in the morning until 11. Question. Question. How about the afternoon uh, de shift? What time uh, did you start work? Heure -vous à travailler? Response. Réponse. We resume at uh, 3 Nous until 5. Question. Question. In uh, both shift. Were you allowed to take a short break Et in between? Aviez-vous le droit de faire une pause entre les deux quarts de travail? Response. It Réponse. depended on the agreement uh, in uh, respective uh, unit. Once they agreed uh, in the unit, uh, for example, if they were tired, uh, then they agreed uh, to take break. So it all depended on the. Uh, respective unit uh, to design. Question. Question. How about the uh, unit under your supervision? Uh, did the workers Comment have time to take uh, rest in between uh, during working hours? Response. I um, 
was uh, very uh, kind to my uh, members. Uh, they were all very happy with my uh, leadership uh, at that time, and I never uh, made them work too hard. If they were exhausted, they could take the break. Question. This morning you said that uh, in George Unit, uh, you were uh, imposed a, a quota of two cubic meter of uh, dirt uh, per person. So my question to you now is: Was there any was there any member in your group who did not meet that quota? Response. Yes, there were uh, some, but it was only uh, some tardiness. Uh, they, others uh, could finish earlier, and while uh, the others could not uh, finish it on time, then we would uh, assist one another once uh, uh, other members could not uh, uh, finish the work within the day. Question. So those who fail to meet the quota imposed and you reinforce uh, by Lorsque giving more uh, labor uh, to them, uh, did you ever impose any punishment, uh, sanctions, or reprimand against uh, those who fail to meet the quota of the day? Response, no, because I observed that some members uh, uh, was uh, very weak uh, physically, so we had to um, help each other. We uh, help each other only at that time. So there was no reprimand or punishment. Question. Question. Based on your observation in your unit under your supervisions or your nearby unit, uh, in the course of the work, did any uh, members or workers, um, you know, uh, suffer from uh, work-related accident or they were taken uh, to be killed uh, at the time? Response, uh, no, nobody uh, suffered from anything. They were all happy. Mr. President, uh, that last question was a two-part question. He, he asked first about work-related accidents and then about people being taken away to be killed. I think that runs the risk of confusing the witness. So I would just ask that counsel separate separate topics in his questions. Mr. President, actually, uh, there might have been an issue uh, in the translation. Uh, I was asking about the uh, work-related accident that leads to the death of uh, the worker. The President, uh, Council, please uh, put that question to the uh, witness again. Council, let me clarify my question. Uh, in the course of your work, based on your observation, did any uh, worker um, suffer any work-related uh, accident and uh, he or she lost his, his or her life uh, because of that work-related accident? But at the long no. Uh, no. There was no one actually uh, got any uh, death accident. Question. So when you were working uh, over there, uh, did you see any soldiers uh, guarding uh, the workers who were working there? Response. Yes, yes, there were uh, soldiers. Uh, they, the workers were under surveillance. Questions. Why did they uh, guard uh, workers working over there? Response. I did not know they would uh, come and uh, they would sit 
here and then they moved to another place. I did not know uh, what uh, they intended to do. Questions. Uh, how far was it uh, from the place you were working and the uh, uh, place that they were guarding? Response. It was not uh, far from each other. They actually, the soldiers uh, came to converse uh, with the workers from uh, time to time. Too. Question. So when the workers Question. were exhausted, as you uh, put it earlier, Donc, did this uh, soldier uh, blame the workers soldats, uh, uh, that they had to continue working? Response, no. Réponse, no. They never uh, lay any blame on the workers. Question. Is my understanding uh, correct then uh, that uh, the task allocation, the labor division, uh, is under the responsibility, the sole responsibility and discretion of uh, the respective unit chief? Uh, it has nothing to do with the uh, military uh, personnel then. Uh, is that a fair summary of what you have? Uh, told the call. Response. Yes, it was oui. not under the uh, military um, uh, sphere. Actually, it was under the direct uh, responsibility of the uh, respective unit chief. Les unités, les chefs Question. You said um, earlier that uh, there was an economic um, group uh, who was uh, charged with the responsibility uh, to look for fish or vegetable. Was it under the company or was it under the uh, unit chief responsibility? Response. Actually, uh, they were the, this economic chief uh, responsible for looking for all of this for the uh, entire company. They were looking for fish, and uh, they also uh, cook rice. But uh, there were different people uh, responsible for these two tasks. Question, how many members were there in this economic uh, unit? Response, there were four uh, members uh, who were charged to look for uh, fish, and four others were for uh, pre preparing rice. Question. So the cooking, uh, actually, it was uh, the cooking was prepared by um, this group uh, for the entire company, right? It was not for individual unit subordinate to the company. Response. Yes, the cooking was actually for the uh, communal uh, dining hall, so it was for the entire company. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Um, I have no further question, Mr. President. The President. Thank you. Next, I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Kirsten to put the question to the witness. You may now proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur. Good afternoon, witness. Je m'appelle Arthur Verken et je suis Arthur un des avocats Verken, de Monsieur Kusampan. D'abord, je voudrais vous demander s'il est exact que votre village de naissance se trouve dans le district de Knomstrok. Merci. 
Entre votre village et le, le site du barrage, il y a à peu près quelle distance vous seriez en mesure de, de l'évaluer à vol d'oiseau It was uh, 12 kilometers away. Vous avez dit que vous étiez pendant deux années bons à la pagode Nam Tam dans le même district de Phnom Rock. Je voudrais vous demander également quelle est la distance à peu près entre cette pagode où vous êtes resté deux ans et le site du barrage. It was approximately um, 13 kilometers away. Et cette pagode, elle était aussi à proximité de votre village natal. C'était éloigné les deux, la pagode et le village natal. It was about three kilometers away from my village uh, to that D'accord. J'ai noté sur votre procès verbal d'audition de 2011 que vous aviez précisé que vous parliez le Lao et le Thai en plus du Khmer. C'est exact No, no, that is ah, not correct. Non, I don't non, know. I uh, speak very little. Je I've parle. never been to Thailand. Très peu, je ne suis jamais allé en Thaïlande. D'accord, c'est peut-être un problème de traduction Fine. puisque Maybe je me suis attaché à lire la, la version française issue, ici que les mauvaises cases ont été cochées sur le formulaire uh, on, uh, de la traduction. Um, Qu'est-ce que vous faisiez so, quand vous étiez uh, dans cette pagode Quelles étaient vos, ac vos activités Vous appreniez ou est-ce que vous donniez des cours également I was a monk, an ordinary monk uh, in the pagoda. I was not educated enough uh, to teach at the time. Ce matin, quand on vous a interrogé sur les biographies, vous avez dit que. Tout le monde avait dû faire sa biographie. Et que vous ne compreniez d'ailleurs pas pourquoi le monde devait faire ses biographies. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire ce que vous avez mis dans votre biographie, par exemple Est-ce que vous avez indiqué que vous étiez auparavant bon Yes, in my biography, I um, uh, put uh, it uh, that I used to be a monk. Est-ce que cette mention a posé le, le moindre problème euh, Est-ce qu'on vous a fait le reproche d'avoir été bon
No, uh, there was no issue at, uh, with it at all. En fait, euh, il semble même well, que l'on vous ait fait confiance puisque on vous a nommé chef de compagnie uh, were, uh, avec euh, des responsabilités yes. importantes. And, and Et à ce propos, je voudrais and revenir sur regard, un... like back... une mention que vous avez faite en 2011 lorsque vous avez été interrogé. Vous avez indiqué que vos chefs tenaient des réunions tous les deux trois jours. Et vous avez And parlé de ces réunions, mais vous avez aussi parlé d'assemblée. Je ne sais pas comment on vous traduit ça en Khmer, so mais quand on lit votre procès-verbal, il y a les deux termes qui sont Both indiqués en français, le terme « réunion » et le terme « assemblée ». Et lorsque vous parlez d'assemblée, vous dites qu'à leur occasion, on vous accordait un repos. Est-ce que ça vous rappelle quelque chose Est-ce que vous êtes capable de nous expliquer quelle est la différence qu'il pouvait y avoir entre des réunions et des assemblées Est-ce que ça correspond à une distinction que l'on faisait à l'époque et que vous pourriez nous expliquer For the word uh, assembly, uh, it means uh, that we could take a rest for one or two days in order to save our energy for uh, the active uh, work the next day or the following days. Encore une fois, je ne, je ne sais pas quel est le mot qui est utilisé pour vous traduire « assemblée » en Khmer, mais dans ma langue, le mot « assemblée » fait référence à, à une sorte de rassemblement de personnes qui discutent, qui évoquent, ou qui prennent peut-être même des décisions sur un thème ou plusieurs thèmes. C'est -ce cela. We, we don't we don't need a discussion of what the, the French word means in French. The witness is here to tell us what he saw. The council can ask him questions about what he saw. May I proceed, Mr. President? I don't really understand the, the objection here. Well, Your Honor, in, in that case, I'll, I'll try to be clear. Sorry, I was speaking too fast. Uh, it's in essence a leading question. Uh, he suggested to the witness what he believes an assembly is, and he's asked the witness to confirm that. He should just ask the witness what the witness meant by an assembly. Monsieur le témoin, que signifiait « assembler » à part le fait que l'on vous donnait du repos lorsqu'il y avait des assemblées, est-ce qu'il y avait un autre objet à ces assemblées Uh, the word assembly, uh, they would convene people to meet in one place. And then I heard uh, the cheer of the people uh, long live uh, something and try to complete uh, uh, the work uh, as planned. So that was, that was all about it.
Et quand il y avait des assemblées, cela ne concernait pas tout le chantier, And ça concernait une partie du chantier, ou cela concernait tout le chantier Did it concern the entire work site or only part of the work site? All uh, took rest. Non, from tout le monde, everyone reposé. from every unit uh, came to assemble in and one place and we all uh, took rest. Nous nous reposions. Ça arrivait euh, avec quelle régularité ces assemblées à peu près? Did such assemblies hold? I am. I was not able to grasp Je ne savais pas vraiment. of the situation. It happened. Uh, once in every two or three years, tous les deux ou trois ans. and uh, usually when the the assembly was held, uh, the leaders or General, would attend the assembly, and we had to line the street and welcome the leaders. Vous avez travaillé combien de temps en tout sur le site du barrage pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique entre 1975 et 1979 Est-ce que vous avez travaillé sur ce barrage pendant tout le, tout le régime ou seulement pendant une partie Est-ce que vous pouvez à peu près euh, nous dire combien de temps vous êtes resté sur le site du barrage on the work site. Answer. I can say I uh, worked there until the end. And I fled home since I uh, was not interested in the work there. And uh, I um, Got married during the time, and uh, my wife was still uh, working in the field, and I fled home alone. Dans les champs et fui chez moi tout seul. Later on, my wife learned that I uh, stopped uh, working at uh, the work site. I was not. Uh, I was no longer within the mobile unit. My wife also mobile. went uh, back home. Ma femme, elle aussi est Elle a fui également. Did she also flee? Answer. She was an old um, member and um, she uh, was included in the uh, unit of, in the village. Du village. Elle a fui également. Elle s'est enfuie de son de son poste. Je n'ai pas bien compris. Vous avez Did dit. Elle m'a rejoint post? ou quelque chose d'équivalent. Ça veut dire que elle aussi a fui quand elle a appris when you said que vous aviez quitté l'unité. She was uh, getting old, and uh, it was not uh, proper for her to stay uh, with uh, the unit working at the site. It was uh, better to work to be in a unit in the village close to her parents. Donc, ce n'est pas une fuite à proprement parler. C'est un changement d'affectation. C'est cela, monsieur. So to speak, it was merely a change of uh, employment or position, a transfer. Mm -hmm. 
Réponse, j'ai fait une demande I submitted a request to battalion chief, que j'ai présenté au chef de bataillon. Uh, uh, j'ai dit que j'étais uh, vieux et que je n'étais plus capable unit. de rester dans l'unité mobile à ce moment-là. On a fait droit à ma demande. Et votre femme a fait la même chose, c'est cela, monsieur And did your wife do the same thing Is that what you're saying, sir My réponse. wife had trouble. It, there was a trouble at that time. There was, you know, a change of uh, situation almost at the end of the time, and uh, she pled de cette période et elle a fui. D'accord, donc en fait c'est elle qui a fui et pas vous, si je comprends bien. So c'est bien ça fled. Isn't that Vous, vous avez juste changé d'affectation, vous avez demandé une autorisation qu'on vous a accordée. C'est bien ça, monsieur. And that request was granted. Isn't that a case, sir? Answer. Réponse. It, it depended on the, her work, said the witness. Cela dépendait de son travail, dit le Est-ce que vous vous souvenez, monsieur, de... La date à laquelle les travaux du barrage ont commencé. Parce que vous nous avez dit que vous étiez resté sur le barrage presque jusqu'à la fin. Mais le début, c'est quand Est-ce que vous êtes capable de, de donner une date au début des travaux du barrage Vous êtes capable de les dater ou non Monsieur le Président, le, je vois qu'il est l'heure de la pause. Peut-être voulez-vous en décider. Je suis en regardant le temps et il peut être temps pour nous de prendre une pause. Merci. 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 Concernant before he appears before the trial chamber. However, there is a report by Wesu at the time that Wesu went to collect the witness whether or not he is able to come here to testify. And in the report, uh, there was a one point stating about the fact that he may have some issue in relation to his memory after his, he recovered from the illness. And, uh, The witness uh, was saying that uh, he tried his best to come here and uh, give the best testimony uh, before the chamber. So there is a report by Vesu about this matter, not the medical report. It is now break time, and the court will take break from now until 3 o'clock. Court officer, please uh, find a room for this witness during the rest time, and please invite uh, the witness together with the duty council into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.